So sometimes when you're working on a project in Blender, when you try to zoom into a very small object, the object starts to clip away and you can't zoom in farther to the object because it disappears. And the same thing can happen if you're working on a very large scene. So I have this large monkey head as well and you can see when I zoom out, the monkey head is so large and far away that it starts to disappear. And so this is because of the viewport clipping. And the same thing can happen in the camera view when you're rendering. So in this video, I'll show you how to fix this in the viewport and the camera. So here in the viewport, if you press the N key to open up the side panel, you can click on the view tab and there's going to be a clip start and a clip end. So I'm going to turn this clip end down farther and this way it won't clip until it's much closer to the camera. So now I can zoom in even closer. I can make this even a smaller number like a 0.02 and now I can zoom really close up to this tiny monkey head before it starts to clip. Now you don't want to make it too small because if I make this way too small, you can see objects which are really far away start to get a bit glitchy. You can kind of see there's some weird glitch and kind of some flickering there on the side of that monkey head. So just make sure the number doesn't get too small. Now when it comes to large objects not disappearing, I just need to turn up the end clipping. So I can just add like another zero so it goes much farther and now I can zoom in much farther away before the monkey head starts to disappear because this is a really large object. Now I've added a camera to the scene and if I go into the camera view, you can see the monkey head has completely disappeared because it is so far away. So to fix this in the camera view, you'll need to select the camera and you'll need to click over here to go to the object data properties and the camera has a separate clip start and end. So it's gonna act exactly the same, but for the camera. So here on the end value, I'll add another zero to make it much larger so you can actually see the monkey. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn more Blender quick tips, then definitely check out my Blender quick tips tutorial playlist. I'll have it right up there on the end screen and the link will be in the description. But I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.